So, hello and welcome to another episode of Kiara's Tech Adventures. Today, I will be reviewing the Happy Hacking Professional 2 keyboard. So, this is just going to be a short disclaimer. As I know there can be a lot of drama about this keyboard, all of the opinions in this video are my own and they are no by any reason fact whatsoever. So, this keyboard is a 60% keyboard, as you can see it is pretty tiny and if you can have a look there, there's a, the FM key there and it basically, to use like stuff like the arrow keys, you will press FN and say it will be like this button here to go down, etc. So, all the other keys are accessible through a function layer and it does take mini USB this light is pretty annoying, I am sorry. Um, there's the mini USB there, and also there are two USBs that you can use right there, which are USB 2.0. And if you can see this little back plate here, if I can get it off, yes, there we go. There are little dip switches there, which basically change the way these keys work. So there's a little dip switch um, to turn like this backspace button to delete, and there's also a few little modes on here that you can change which is a very nice little feature. So, the switches in this keyboard are Topra switches. I'm not gonna say whether they're mechanical or not because there's obviously debate, but yes, they are Topra switches, which basically means they are like rubber dome switches, but I'll be going into more in depth on these switches in another video that I'll be doing where I'll be comparing Topra switches, Razor switches, and Cherry Blue switches. So, this keyboard does come with PBT keycaps, so they do feel really, really nice on your fingers, and obviously, because they are PBT, they want yellow um, in the sunlight, but, obvious, but unfortunately the case is ABT, so this case will yellow, but the keyboard won't. But overall, the keyboard is very, very light. It does have a plastic case. I mean, I can't really bend it, but I wouldn't want to try because this keyboard does feel like really, really light, which is actually really good for someone like me because I do take my keyboard out a lot with me. Because it is so small, I can just go in my bag. I've got a little case for it. So it is perfect for stuff like that. So this is my first 60% keyboard, which has been really good because I didn't know that you could save so much space with just a tiny keyboard and as I am a coder I actually don't use the number pad that much weirdly enough I mean sometimes I do but sometimes I don't I can live without it basically and this, the space that I save on my desk is amazing this is also my first Topra keyboard and honestly I wasn't expecting much from them I did just buy this keyboard to kind of see the hype I did buy a second hand didn't want to pay the full price of important from Japan but honestly, I think this is actually my favourite switch at the moment because of it. I mean, because I do type a lot um, every day, this has been putting like a lot less strain on my um, hands than when I use my mechanical keyboards, which is really surprising. So the function layer can be a bit hard to get used to, I mean, but not really, because it is actually more intuitive than you think. The arrow keys are sort of in a diamond shape here, so they're not too bad. The only things that I um, have trouble with is the end key and the home key, but it's honestly not that bad. Overall, this is actually my favourite keyboard at the moment, just because of how nice it feels to type on. I mean, when I got it, I was basically typing on it like I'd never typed on any other keyboard within like 10 minutes because it was so easy to get used to. The space saving is also amazing, but one of the things that I don't do on this keyboard is game because obviously control is up here, alt is down here. It does get really confusing when all the games that I've been playing for years rely on muscle memory, so I do use my old big cherry keyboard for that. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, give me a subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!